friends, it's Kelly Pullum here, also known as Craft and Granny. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! in Canada, and I love to help people discover creativity they never knew they had with Stampin' Up!'s amazing products. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to make some um, beautiful cards very simply. I'm using um, a stamp set, a die set, and Stampin' Blends and my Memento ink. And we're going to create some beautiful cards using the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I just wanted to let anybody who's local know that I have, um, I'm at the Farmer's Market this Saturday. Oh, excuse me. Now I've got this funny voice. It'll pass. Um, so this Saturday, I'm at the Farmer's Market from 9 until 2, and that's here in Sudbury. Anyway, I'm going to switch us over to the desktop so you can see the materials I'm going to be using tonight. There we go. Okay. So I am using the Regal Reindeer stamp set and dies, which were... Um, they are in the annual catalog. Hi, Nancy. Welcome. So these are in the annual catalog this year, not the holiday catalog. And they, um, this was a favorite of mine last year. I just adored the little child with the apple to feed the reindeer. I like the sentiments with this set. So it's really a wonderful um, stamp set and die set. And that's what we're going to use tonight for creating our products or our cards. And um, I'm also using the tailor-made tie. Um, oh golly, the tailor-made tags dies. I'm using these, and I've got my chamois here, and I'm going to pull my materials out, and we can get started. Now, the one horse open sleigh paper is wonderful because it has all these um, scenes on it. And so I've chosen a couple of them tonight. I've chosen this piece and I've chosen this piece. And when I was deciding what to do to make these cards, I'm just going to grab my trimmer here. I um, just took a look at the colors. I chose the pat patterns I wanted, took a look at the colors, and I decided to do this one with um, a Lost Lagoon card base and this one with a Misty Moonlight card base. Now for both of the pieces, I'm cutting here at four inches. And setting aside this little bit, which will go on the back of my envelope. And then I'm going to cut at five and a quarter. And this little strip I'll set aside, who knows what it might appear on. So I'm going to do the same thing with the second piece of paper, except for this one, I think I cut it this way. So I have four inches and then five and a quarter again. Okay, so there we go. Now, I'm going to start with the Lost Lagoon piece. Um, so this is cardstock that is um, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at uh, four and a quarter. And I'm just going to take my patterned paper and put it right on the background here. Get my silicone mat. It's easier to get this thing started. There we go. So I love this because I can start right off the bat with a beautiful background. And then what I put on the foreground is just going to literally pop off the page with um, adding some interest here. So the same with the Misty Moonlight piece. I'm going, this is the same size standard card base. I'm going to take this 
and add it to my card front. Okay, now I have some stamping to do. So these two white strips are going to be my sentiment pieces. And these two are going to go on the inside of my card. I'll set those aside for now, I think. And then these two are going to be for the pieces that are going to go on the foreground of my um, of my stamp. And do you know what? I think I forgot to bring my... Oh, here it is. I thought I'd forgotten to bring my memento over. Okay, so I'm going to start first with this reindeer. And he's going to go on here. If you're watching, please say hello. It's also very helpful if you like and share the video. Um, so that others will see it as well. It's always much appreciated. Um, so I'm also going to um, ink up this little child and put them on there as well. And then on this piece, I'm going to put um, the trees. Actually, this is so big. When you have a big stamp, it's easier to put the stamp itself down and bring the ink pad to the top. And it's also easy because now I can see clearly um, that I've got ink everywhere on there. So I'm just going to press that down. There we go. And now I'm going to stamp the little bunny on here. And I'm going to stamp my sentiments on here as well. That one's come off. Now let me just remember, which one did I do Merry Christmas? I know. I did Merry Christmas with the blue one. And that uses this tag. So that is going on here. There we go. Oh, rats. Okay, well, I guess I'll be cutting another one of those. <laughs> and I did not... Um, I didn't make an extra one, but I can cut one. And I need my chamois here. Let's get that press down in there so it's not going to keep falling off on me. I think I'm going to just go ahead and I'm going to stamp this right on here. And I can use that tag and cut it out while I'm cutting out the rest. Oh, I did it again. Look at that. Sometimes, you know, I've even trimmed the edges of my stamps. If that has a tendency to happen, but I can also just take my chamois and make sure I've got that edge clear. There we are, much better. Okay, and now I need the piece on earth sentiment yep this one's just got a lot of rubber on the top of it there so just clean that off before I stamp and this one I have to remember I think it's coming in from this side There we go. Okay, now I'm going to set these stamps aside. Get the lid on my ink before I make any more mess. And I'm going to do some coloring. So 
I'm going to start with the trees because they're super easy. I'm just coloring them with Lost Lagoon and I'm going to do um, both the light and the dark. I'm going to start with the light and I'm literally just tapping it in some places to try to fill in the trees because I like leaving a little bit of white to show the snow on the branches. So if I can get around some of those spots, then I will. But I'm also not being too worried. If I if I get a blob of um, of ink, it's all going to end up green in the end little bit of white snow, mostly green. So just, I'm just kind of coming along. I'm going to color this one tree, the center tree first. And then I'm going to outline it a little bit with the dark Lost Lagoon in order to give a clear outline to the trees because I want them to show up, um, you know, kind of a clear delineation between the trees. I'm not going to worry about snow down there. I'm getting a little impatient. So once I've got that done, I can come back in here with my Lost Lagoon and just kind of try to um, establish a bit of an outline of the tree to make it a little clearer. And everything then doesn't have to be the exact same shade of green and then I'm going to fill in over here. Um, the neat thing about our Stampin' Blends is they literally just need to touch the paper for the ink to come out. You do not have to apply pressure. Um, so I actually don't recommend that you apply pressure with it. I just touch the paper with it it's almost just like kind of kissing the paper with the marker and the ink flows. Just a very, very gentle touch. Okay, so again, I'm going to come over just a little bit, even though I'm still using the light, by going over top, I'm adding a little bit more shading in there, just to kind of add a little bit more texture to my trees. And that will do it. Then my bunny, I'm just going to take Crumb Cake Light and very lightly go over certain spots on the bunny. I just want to give him a little bit of color without really changing him to a brown bunny. And that is all I'm going to do with him. Now I have my little gal here and I'm going to color her scarf with a petal pink because there's some pink in the um, in the background on that one and then I'm going to just stripe her stockings there. I'm going to use um, Misty Moonlight, the lighter shade for her coat. There we 
go. Oh shoot, I went over the petal pink and I did not mean to do that. But I'm going to come back with the petal pink and do the mittens here. There. And come back with the real red to do the apple. Let's see if I can, I don't think I can push that off of there. Try a little bit with my stamp, um, color lifter there. And I'm going to do my boots here with the crumb cake. There we go. And then I'm going to do the reindeer. Now the reindeer is the most complicated and I will admit when I started to do the reindeer, I started trying to color all the little bits different colors. So I tried to color the bells different from the harness and everything. It was not worth the aggravation. So I'm just simply going to do the harness red. Okay, and this little bit here at the front is going to be red also. And then I'm going to do the, um, uh, I don't know, what, you would, what would you call it over the animal's back? <laughs> it's its blanket anyway. I'm going to do it in the misty moonlight. there just to tie in that color and then I'm going to come in with um, the pecan pie light to do the antlers There we go. And the um, ornament is going to be real red. And now for the um, reindeer itself. So I used crumb cake, light and dark. Um, I put a little bit of the dark just where the shadowed parts of the reindeer are. And then I went over it with my light. There we go. I'm going to turn it and do the other end. Hope it's not too boring to sit and watch me color. There we go. And there we go. All right. So now we're going to die cut these pieces. I 
This is a beautiful die set. It's got so many pieces that go with it. I'm only using a few of them tonight. Um, there's a little fox that is adorable. Um, there's another reindeer that it die cuts. There it has a little scarf and a star and a harness, presents, um, and this other reindeer. So there's just a ton of things, and you can create your own um, kind of ground, if you will, with it. So a ton of um, dies that work with this. So I've just pulled out the ones that I need. And I'll pull in child is on the next one so I need my bunny and I need some washi tape here which is missing in action happens when you have a messy desk folks well a post-it note will do there we go so we'll get our tree lined up here use a post-it note to hold it in place get my little bunny oh he's so cute get him lined up there and then I need my tag die To do the Merry Christmas here. There we go. So we just have one pass through there with that. And then I'm going to come in with my reindeer and my child and do the same thing. Here we are. and run that through. Okay, so now we have all our little pieces colored and ready to be put together. sentiment and our bunny and our trees so we're going to pull in our card bases and we've got this one which is going to have um, the reindeer and the child here and then we're going to um, come in from the side it looks like I forgot to cut my misty moonlight here so I need this is 3 8 so I need a one inch strip of misty moonlight
Here we go. So for the piece on earth, we're going to, um, oh, that was the, <laughs> I did this wrong, didn't I? It's the Merry Christmas I need here. So I've got this one, and that was supposed to be die cut, but it's not going to be. It's just going to be like this because that's where I'm at right now. So I'm just going to put that on there. So this is what I did. I put it on. I had done the second tag, but for this, because I've already cut this, I'm just going to use this. So I'm going to just leave a little border, come along to the edge like so, and then I'm going to take my trimmer and just die cut this. So that this is going on the edge of my card. And I've got some dimensionals for my child and my reindeer. Now, before I put this on, I did use this little stamp on the snow to just kind of add some tracks here. Not tracks, just kind of marks in the snow. Oh, thank you, Nancy. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm at right now. That is absolutely the truth. So just a few tracks or spots in the snow with that little stamp. And then I can pop up my reindeer, like so. And I can put my child just down a little lower. Oops, that might be too wide a piece. No, I think that's going to show. I'm going to just use that higher and get a smaller piece for the bottom. There we are. And that will go down here. And then a little bit more dimensional up here. And that's coming in from the side. And if I can get that straight, I'll be golden. Now inside this card, I am going to do with the trees. So I'm going to do um, the sentiment. This is... Um, Wishing you a wonderful season. Oh, I gotta get it to stick. Filled with all the good things that warm your heart and lift your spirit. I love that. Now I'm gonna be careful this time because I see I got some ink on the edge. So rather than be taking chances, I'll clean it off first. There we go this in the center beautiful and then I'm going to come in with the trees a little bit so I'm going to just ink here and come in on this side off the edge like so And that off the other side. Now that is ready to go inside.
Yes, Nancy, the colors really do work together, don't they? They just pull everything together. So there we go. That is inside this card. And I just love how this whole thing pops. And really, just a little coloring, a little bit of die cutting, no fancy designing. That is gorgeous. So let's do the same with this one. For this one, I'm going to pop up my trees. And they're going to go on this side of the house. I can't decide. I think I want them up a little higher here. There. Okay, and then my bunny. So I'm going to do the same thing again with the little tracks. Um, here's my ink. I lost my little stamp. Here it is. There. And then we're going to put the little bunny on. Except it's hiding. There it is. It's so tiny. There is my sweet little bunny. And now I'm going to add um, my piece on earth here. So I'm going to use um, this just to create some stars up here on there. And then for this one, I'm just going to flag it. So I'm going to cut straight first and I'm cutting in and on an angle and this is going on top of my Lost Lagoon paper. There, and then I'm just going to repeat that angle with my paper snips to put that on the in um, on the front here. With some dimensionals. And I love the piece on earth with this one because I think that really suits um, the scene. It could have gone on either of them, I suppose. Then I'm going to take my card insert and I'm going to stamp my sentiment inside again. Lost my black ink. Hmm. Oh, I set it over here so I wouldn't get it on things. Okay. There we go. That's going in the center of this one. Then I'm going to use these stars again, and I'm just going to stamp a few kind of coming up and a few coming down here. Very simple. And that is going on the inside. 
so there you go two really beautiful cards done very simply the one horse open sleigh paper does all the work and then I'll show you what I did with my envelopes I won't take the time to do the whole thing but I want to show you what I did so I took my two inches of the designer series paper and I adhered it to the envelope flap <laughs> sticking to my fingers too much here I left just a little bit I don't want it to go over the fold there so I'm just kind of coming up to the edge but there is a bit here that is showing so what I did is I just cut off here like you would ordinarily on both sides and then I just cut this part off the part that was hanging out I just got rid of it And there's still plenty of adhesive here to glue your card shut. So if you have that two inch strip, don't be shy about using it to put on your envelope flap. Just lickety split like that. So here is one. Here is the other card for tonight. This envelope I had done earlier. This one will go with this card. And there we have it. So I hope you liked it. It's a little different video for me tonight because it's very light on design and just heavy on using the uh, patterned paper and the uh, coloring to add interest. But I was so pleased with how they turned out and I think I'll be making more of them. Anyway, uh, take care friends. Um, I hope to see you again next Tuesday. You can shop for these supplies in my online store. Um, please use the host code listed above if you are um, if you are placing an order that's less than two hundred dollars. And there is a shop now button on my Facebook page if you want to go to my web store. So thanks for joining me. See you next Tuesday. Bye now.